purchase is a little bit different, right? Because it's not like you're talking to a buyer or referral every single day. Sometimes you actually have to invest time towards creating the referral expectation, right? So you have referral partners and right now they might be sending you one or two once a month, right? Every other week. So then you got to be able to get creative enough to incentivize them to send you more and also revisit those who are already pre-approved by you, right? Mm -hmm. With the market going up, they need to be updated. How you set them to go search and how close in contact you're keeping with those realtors, that's your money on the street. So if it's with somebody who you could trust, then maybe you don't necessarily need to do that extra TLC. But if it's just with every other realtor, then you got to make sure you stay in front of them somehow because yeah. they're going to get referred. They're going to be like, hey, you know, have you met my builder lender <laughs> over right. here? Yeah. <laughs> You can trust your best friend, but business is business. Exactly, dude. That's what a lot of my day is. I mean, the last month or so, I've gotten several new applicants and get them in and get the true pool done. And so touch mm -hmm. base with them. And a few of them are either they're just casually shopping, but they're on the lower end of the spectrum. So, of course, what they can afford and what they want is way off the mark but i have some other little more qualified people and still i mean there's people are getting outbid like mad right now so my most qualified people have put in several offers and then they've gotten outbid every single time so, yeah i mean in my opinion i think that's a dead-end wall man so you know if you have the momentum coming in from other loans for refinance then at least you know you have money coming in right yeah. Right. So because there will be a point where it's going to turn around. So when values start going down, it will slow down, but this is months, you know, for the rest of the year. But in the interim, find out a way to keep feed in the pipeline so that, you know, you work on what matters most, most importantly is your mindset. And you got to put your mindset to a point where you're just a machine. And that way you'll be able to, you know, attract it versus chase it. Sales remastered.